His limp is still noticeable, but Sean Graves has come a long way since April 20th, 1999. Graves was shot six times during the Columbine High School massacre and spent years in a wheelchair afterwards. You know, my injuries didn't make me who I am. It's how I dealt with those injuries and, and what had happened to me early on when I was 15 that's made me who I am today. Today, Graves is engaged to his best friend, Kara, with plans to get married this November. The pain and scars will be with him the rest of his life, and so will the memories. Graves has his own way of remembering the anniversary. On the 20th, I, I like to get up to the school um, where uh, not only I was shot, but where Dan and, and Lance were also shot. And I, I like to leave a cigar for, for Dan and, and uh, have one there at the spot. About right here is where Sean Graves comes every year to smoke that cigar and remember his friend who died. And while Graves comes here to reflect about what happened on that April day at Columbine High School, Another man comes here every single day to face his fears and guilt. There's some survivor guilt on my part. Uh, I really feel the need to rebuild this community. Principal Frank DeAngelis has been working at Columbine since 1979 and wants to retire after the kids who were in preschool during the shootings graduate in 2012. But DeAngelis is most concerned about the class of 1999 because they graduated without ever going back into the building. For them, the last time they were in this building on the 20th, they were stepping over dead bodies. Uh, they were being held hostage in some of the classrooms. And so I'm there to give them support. Uh, this year, the 10 year reunion for the nine year, or the class 99 there, I'm going to be there. That support has cost DeAngelis a lot. His marriage fell apart after 17 years. His physical and mental health have both struggled, all because 13 people were murdered in his school. Their names are etched in stone. 12 students and one teacher. Dave Sanders' family has been waiting for this 10-year anniversary. It is absolutely a moment of closure for me. Uh, we've spent 10 years ev every year uh, remembering the day of his death. And I think from here on out, we're going to really try to celebrate his life. The decisions Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold made 10 years ago have wrecked and damaged many lives. This anniversary will be more about celebration of life than loss. Mark Carlson, The Associated Press, Littleton, Colorado.